Hi, Cartez Ross here with tshirtriches.com and today I gotta wanna do a little blah 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 blah. Hi, Cartez Ross here with tshirtriches.com and today I'm going to um, test out some transfer paper. I'm getting a lot of companies sending me um, some sample transfers, blank transfers to print from the printer and because a lot of you all have been asking about printing from the home printer I decided that I'll test out some of the various transfer paper that's available. So been trying some, most of it didn't work out, bunch of junk, bunch of crap. But the company that I got the transfer sample pack from today, say their uh, transfer paper is one of the better ones out there on the marketplace. So what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna test it out. And what I've done here is uh, put together a quick design um, on my computer here. Let me zoom in on that. Um, I reversed it simply says got Jesus and uh, we're gonna try that out um, we're gonna print it out and see what happened um, let me go ahead and print so bear with me here uh, choose the option and I'm gonna let you watch me through the process let's see here print preview landscape and something else should pop up here it's a brand new printer and I'll talk to you about that in just a minute bear with me okay okay here it come excuse the mess I'm down in the basement we got a portion of the basement uh, finished off There we go. Uh, so, I don't know why it's kind of faded, but we'll look into that. But um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna print. Here's the printer I'm talking about here. Matter of fact, here's my daughter over here. She's uh, down here. Say hello. Hi. Um, last day of school was Friday, and today's Monday, so she gets the opportunity to stay up a little later tonight. Um, so she's down here hanging out with her old man a little after midnight but anyhow this printer here I picked this up I think we paid 179 for this printer I believe um, we had the Canon one as you saw in the other video um, but I decided to swap it out and get this one here because I do a lot of printing on some other stuff um, DVD label uh, DVD uh, covers um, CD covers etc to that type of stuff so I bought it because I wanted to do some other stuff plus this particular printer is a wide format printer prints up to 13 by 19 inch uh, paper um, so wanted to try that out again excuse the mess in here um, like I said we finished off a portion of our basement um, this is the place where I shoot some of my video at when I'm at home um, as you can see we had the lights up here in the ceiling um, so we had a little table there and right now we got a lot of paper on the floor we're cleaning up down here a little bit and my daughter's over here shredding up uh, paper and putting it into the uh, shredder so uh, so let's go on back to the back and what we're going to do is print the transfer um, so excuse the mess this is the only part of the house that my wife uh, lets me keep a mess um, whereby I don't have to hear her complain about it I'm in the other garage now this is a uh, we have like what you have a normal two-car garage and then you generally have a boat garage like a third car third garage which obviously we don't have a boat so what I've done was put our little a um, little makeshift studio so when I'm not at the office shooting video um, I'm here at home we have this backdrop just kind of give you a little tour um, got some lighting over here and another lighting here and another light here so you kind of get a chance to see how I got things set up it's, as you can see it's nothing fancy a uh, bunch of t-shirts laying all around um, laying all over the place for primarily from when I'm shooting video showing you all some samples when I'm at home I prefer to shoot videos at home um, didn't have any place to put all my books at well I have a place just hadn't taken the time to uh, sort through everything but anyhow as you can see I do a lot of reading and yes I read every last book that you see here um, I have boxes more I believe reading and expanding your knowledge is very important and it will only help you 
uh, progress further along um, in, in life through your journey. And uh, so we do a lot of reading. But uh, anyhow, uh, Ashley, you help me out hold the camera, baby doll. 12 years old. They grow up fast. All righty. Got it. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to print this transfer. Of course, as usual, everything is done in reverse so that it shows up properly on the T-shirt. Um, so what I'm going to do is print. And what we're going to do, we're going to print this out. And then we're going to put it in the washing machine a few times. And that way you can see for yourself how well it holds up. Um, according to the directions here, um, and if this works out, I'll definitely list this on the website um, so that you all can buy it. It's a lot cheaper than buying that stuff at the store. Um, it says, after the transfer is completely dry, let's see here. Okay, allow the printed image to dry for approximately 15 minutes before transferring. So, okay, so we're going to have to wait for about 15 minutes. Um, I didn't know that because this is my first time using the paper. You're watching me firsthand. Uh, so we're going to wait 15 minutes. So after the transfer is completely dry, trim around the image, leaving a small clear edge, approximately one eighth of an inch around the image. So I guess we have to cut around the edges. I'm not liking that already. Uh, set the heat transfer press to 350 to 375 degrees, which I already have that done. Um, place the transfer uh, down on the fabric, apply five to eight seconds peel immediately so apparently we want to wait 15 minutes and then we're going to do some trimming in fact i'm not going to i'm going to just trim around the graphic i'm not going to go right up on it like that um i just want to see what it looks like when we transfer the whole paper so we'll we'll see what happens um <coughs> since we have 15 minutes let me talk briefly the other day when i did the video when we pressed 40 t-shirts i forgot to mention one thing Oftentimes, what happens when you order transfers, they will send you um, the transfers and packages. So in this case here, there's a dozen transfers here. And on the back, you will generally see uh, some instructions here. That way you know how long to leave it on. For example, here, set the heat transfer machine at 375 to 385 degrees at 45 pounds to 50 pounds of pressure per square inch. Place heat transfer in position, print it down. Locked heated heated head in printing position for six to eight seconds. Release heating head and peel transfer immediately. Um, so all the transfers will come with uh, uh, instructions on how long and um, the lead of transfer down. Same thing here. Transfer. Um, oops. Um, same thing here, transfer design. This one's for dark colored garments. Um, and again, it'll give you a set of instructions for how long to leave or how long you leave the transfer down. So whenever you order your stuff, whether it's stock transfer or custom transfers, you will have directions um, on how to take care of it. Um, I'm gonna just pause the video. Um, when the 15 minutes are up, we'll turn the camera back on and we'll start, uh, we'll press this. In fact, I'm gonna print another uh, sheet. That way we'll do two t-shirts. We'll uh, transfer one design without trimming it and then we'll trim the other design and just kind of compare what happens um, after we wash and whatnot. So we're gonna stop for now. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll be right back. 